Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about loud noises. Now, what, what I mean by loud noises is when I was a kid, my ears used to be so sensitive to any type of loud noises that it scared me so much as a kid. And, it's, and some loud noises still irritate me as an adult, young adult, but I'm going to list some things that I used to be really scared of as a kid. I have a list right next to me, and I'm going to tell you guys what I used to be, what any type of loud noise that I used to be afraid of as a kid, and after that, I'm going to compare them now as a young adult. Some, some loud noises that still scare me and some I can tolerate. Now, first we got fireworks. Now, fireworks as a kid used to scare me because... Can you blame me? All you do is just light a mat, uh, get some fireworks at a fireworks shop, um, un um, take them out of the package, get a lighter, light the match, and um, light a match, and just you know, light it on the firework, and just pew, pew, just hear a lot of loud noises. I know I'm being a little childish and immature, making these fake sound effect sound effects. Excuse me, but I can't help it. Well, I can, but. I just want to give a better example on why I'm doing all this, you know, sound effects and stuff. Because I'm not really good at editing sound effects on my channel. So, you're going to have to tolerate me making these fake sound effects. Anyway, next up is vacuums. Now, I hated vacuums as a kid. They were like the bane of my existence. If I made a YouTube channel when I was like 10 years old... And I made, and I've, and I would already make a list on top five things I cannot stand. Vacuums would probably be one of the things that I can't stand. But now I don't mind vacuums as much. When my mom vacuums the house, I don't give a shit. But back when I was a kid, I used to get a bunch of styrofoam at my grandma's house. This was one time, by the way. I used to get a bunch of styrofoam at my grandma's house crumble it up into tiny little pieces, make a huge pile, and then until, until someone notices and asks me, Presley, what are you doing? And I'd be flat out honest with them and say, I'm making a mess. And then to that response of me saying I'm making a mess, my grandma grabs her vacuum and I have to sit there on my dad's lap, like endure the torture and loud noise of that vacuum. And I hated it till that day but now I don't mind vacuums that much you could say I faced my fear on vacuums when I got older now next up is talking toys like you know automatic toys that talk to you and stuff I've had some of those when I was a kid but the other things that scared me is my Dora kitchen playset I used to have as a kid it talked and made a lot of other noises and I've also had a Barbie remote control car, convertible car, and it was pink and stuff. And whenever I turned on the car and I used the remote control and whatever, it, the car moves and makes that loud remote control sound, it irritated me a bit. But I can't, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I asked for those toys when I was a kid for like Christmas or something. Even if I never knew they were going to make a whole lot of noise, I thought they were fun to play with. So I decided to just not, you know, turn on the kitchen play set, just leave it silent, turn off the remote control car and just leave it silent. And just be boring when I was a kid. Just be boring and not listen to talking or noises or anything like that. Next up is thunder. Oh boy, loud thunder. It scared me as a kid and it still does as a young adult. Now, the one thing that irritates me when it comes to thunder is late at night, I'm laying in bed and I just hear loud, crashing, booming thunder in my bed when I'm trying to sleep and it just, out of nowhere, it jump scares me and it just makes me want to almost jump out of my bed. And cover my ears hide under the covers and cover my ears but I just have to sit there and endure the the thunder because there's nothing we can do about thunder and rain because it's the weather 
and God created the weather and he's the one responsible for making all of this stuff happen. So I can't be mad at the celestial for that. I can't be mad at God for that. No matter how much thunder irritates me the most. Next up is loud flushing toilets. Now I mentioned that loud flushing toilets was one of the top five things that I absolutely cannot stand. And now you can see why. It's because it's one of the loud noises that scared me as a kid and somewhat as a young adult. It just depends how loud I can, how loud it is and how much I can tolerate the loud flushing toilets. Cause there was a time when I was a kid and I was at my uncle's house and his toilet was so damn loud. I would just run away from his bathroom and just, you know, never go back in that bathroom ever again. It, it, it was weird, I know. But can you blame me? Some of you guys are probably scared of loud flushing toilets. So maybe we have something in common. Anyway, next up is sirens. Now, any type of siren, like fire truck, ambulance, police sirens, all those sirens that... You know, it's none of our business and we can't control. I can't control. Still irritates me. At, um, well, it kind of irritates me as an adult. It just depends. Again, it depends if I'm outside and I see um, a fire truck or an ambulance zoom by our neighborhood and stuff like that. It, I can kind of tolerate it. But if it's louder than normal, then yeah. I would just go like like that because I make a lot of unusual movements when I hear a lot of loud noises. I know it's weird. Don't judge me, all right? Don't judge me. Anyway, next up is motorcycles. Now, after a little thing that happened right after I graduated high school, my family and I went to Austin, Texas to celebrate, you know, me graduating and stuff because it was fun, had a little fun party. And then we were walking downtown late at night and we saw a bunch of bikers with their motorcycles out in the middle of the road. And it was pretty cool until they started actually driving their motorcycles. It was so loud and it irritated to me to my core. And the worst part is that we weren't driving through my parents and my other family members. We weren't driving through downtown. We were walking, had to get in some exercise in, but we were walking and hearing those loud motorcycle noises just irritates me and it still kind of irritates me now as an adult, young adult. And the last thing that I can remember about what I used to be scared of is race cars. Now, I don't, my family and I, we don't have a whole lot of race cars. Actually, we don't have any race cars, but my dad, watched you know race cars on tv and if he has the tv blaring up all the way to like all the way loud and stuff that can irritate me just but it's like it's irrelevant race cars loud noises race cars they're pretty irrelevant so i can kind of handle race cars but if i see one in real life it can irritate me, but if I don't see one in real life and it's just TV, then whatever. It is what it is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it took a little bit long. I just wanted to explain to you guys on all the loud noises that I used to be scared of. And I'm still irritated by loud noises because I can't help it. My ears are very sensitive. So don't blame me and don't spring up any hate comments and say, Why don't you just suck it up and not be a pussy? Well... I can't help it. That's my response. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.